So have you ever thought, if we felt two balls together with the different masses, this being a sponge ball with a lighter mass, and this being a plastic ball with a heavier mass, what happens if we fill both of them together, when they touch the ground simultaneously at the same time? So we can assume that there is negligible air resistance for now as we are doing this experiment outside. And let's test it. One, two, three, ta. So in ancient times, it was believed that the heavier mass objects fall faster. But as we can see now, with the respective of the mass being different, they fall at the same time. So why is that? Why does such thing happen? What role does the Earth play in this entire scenario? We'll check it out in our virtual platform and then we are going to prove it mathematically. Let's go. So as we did our experiment practically on those, we are going to experiment same thing in our virtual lab called Rhino. So let's see what happens when we try to simulate the same experiment in our LU lab with the values down you see and with the attached tracer you can see the path. So we have developed a grid in which we have placed them in the same level. And the different masses that we have taken out of the ball, two different balls. So we will be going to try to stimulate it and let's start. So as you can see that when we start the experiment, the value of mg is different for both of them. We can reduce the air friction to negligible and then we will start our experiment. Let's see if they fall at the same time or not. So let's go. One, two, three, start. So as you can see that irrespective of their masses, they fall at the same time. So now we are going to prove it mathematically. What is happening with the respect to the Earth? Which masses are responsible for this experiment to take place? So this experiment was also performed by Guerrero Kennedy in the Nini Tower of Pisa. So we see the same results as we see in now in our virtual platform. So as we have seen in the experiment, that the ball with the different masses, irrespective of their mass, they fall at the same time towards it. So we can see that if we draw a ground layer and with respect to the neutral laws, to quick apply the equation that S is equal to MB. So here, two masses are there. So we can state the mass of the Earth as MB and mass of these two balls as MA and MB. So when we check on a simple problem, we can take any one of them and test that if its mass is dependent due on the if its fall rate is depending on the mass of the object or not. So let's take it for MA and we apply the Newton laws of equation and the Newton law on the left and see what happened to their masses. So by Newton's first law, we know that F is equal to MA and by the law of gravitation, we know that S is equal to G, that is gravitational constant, L1, L2, MA, here MA, ME, G, MA, MP, by R squared, where R is the radius of the Earth. So let's see that in their acceleration, because depending on their masses or not. So S is equal to M day, we can take that equation and we can equate them. So we can place M A times of the acceleration is equal to G M A times of M E by R squared. Okay. So next we can see that these two masses get cancelled out. Because they are same. And the acceleration is only depending on G M E by R square. Where G can be written as 6.67 and 10 to the power minus 11. And mass of Earth can be written as 60 into 10 to the power. I got a list. 24 kins. Okay. So when we put these values, we can calculate this. And this will come out mainly to the 9 point. 8 meters per second square. So you can see that this entire equation is independent of the mass of the Earth. Because the mass of the object is very light with respect to the mass of the Earth. Let's say mass of the uh, mass of the object is very very less with respect to the mass of the Earth. The time it takes to accelerate is very much less than the time the Earth takes to accelerate. So the acceleration of the acceleration time for the Earth is very less, very large as compared to the mass, the uh, acceleration times of the mass. So the mass, the lower mass, the lighter mass comes faster nearer to the earth. So by the time both started moving, it will take negligible time to take for this lighter mass to come towards earth 
due to the high inertia of the earth earth will not be able to accelerate much and it will appear to be go faster that's why this experiment is independent of the mass of the earth so this way we can experiment practically see their results in our motor platform and do the mathematical calculation to prove that how we can relate our theoretical explanation to the practical things that we are doing in the life